Hi, Cole. Uh, good morning. Um, I, I don't think I would ask this to somebody who hasn't already demonstrated kind of the emotional IQ that you have, but in, in a short span, you go from being, you know, a big fish in, in, at the world junior stage and now probably a little bit wide eyed with, uh, with all these Winnipeg Jets skating around. Can you put into words what the transformation looks like or feels like for you? Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's pretty cool. I mean, going from junior hockey, um, it's a big difference. And, um, you know, coming here is just, I was just trying to take it all in as soon as I stepped on the ice, you know, you're, you're playing with guys in the National Hockey League and, um, you know, some of the best players in the world. So it's, uh, I just wanted to come in and, you know, work hard and kind of soak it all in. Um, that was my first skate in the, in the NHL. So I'll never forget that. And, um, you know, I just wanted to enjoy it and, and learn from it and uh, kind of get to know the guys and, and get a feel for what it's like um, in the league. And, you know, it was a great first experience. I had tons of fun and, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. We'll go next to Jeff Hamilton from the Winnipeg Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Cole, understanding it's just one NHL practice under your belt so far. But I'm just curious, you know, when guys come into the league, you always learn about being a pro or, or being a better pro or whatnot. On the perspective of practice, when you look at how practices are going to be done this year, you know, whether you're with the Moose or with the Jets, how much of a transition do you think it will be from what you're used to in junior? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit different in the sense that, you know, you don't practice as much. It's a little bit of a heavier schedule. And um, especially this year, there's going to be, you know, a significantly less amount of, uh, of skating. But, um, you know, the big thing that I've noticed is just the little details. Um, you know, passes are always on the tape. They're crisp. They're hard. Um, and, you know, that, that, that just improves the flow of the practice. You get through your drills quicker. And um, ultimately, you know, it uh, – it allows you for, for less skating and um, less work when, when you, when you play like that and, and you're that efficient with the puck. So I think that's the biggest difference, you know, in junior hockey, there's more, um, you know, errors in, in, in practice and stuff like that, more teaching um, where here, you know, everyone is so smart and so good that um, there's not as much teaching and, 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 you know, the most of, of that learning comes in the video and, you know, it's just the execution on the ice and um, you know, at this level, you know, everyone, executes pretty high so it's uh it's um it's a big learning step and and you know I one after one practice you know I learned a lot and um and, and what it's like in a, in a pro schedule and and what it's like to be a pro we'll go next to Kelly Moore from CJOB go ahead Kelly Hey, Cole, um, after uh, the Moose practice the other day, uh, you discussed, uh, you know, how it was so close for you now being here. Uh, and so uh, kind of wondering what your thought process was when you found out that you'd be skating with the taxi squad. You hear Gregor Brewer uh, uh, introduce you uh, as new Jets forward. And at the back end of that, if I could also ask if there's any significance to wearing 91. Yeah, um, you know, I got the call yesterday from um, Mr. Shovel Day off and um, it was pretty, pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. I was just sitting there watching TV, actually just FaceTime with my parents. And then, um, you know, I got the call and, and he, he said that I was going to be joining the taxi squad and skating tomorrow. So that was, you know, I, when I got off the phone, I immediately called my parents back, told them the news and, um, you know, they were just so happy and ecstatic and, um, you know, it's just one step closer to, to the dream and, um, you know, it's just another, you know, step in the process. So, uh, it was, you know, an awesome feeling and, um, you know, it's, I, I was working for that the last couple of weeks and, and I wanted to, um, come here and, um, you know, now that I'm here, it's, uh, it's pretty surreal. I can't really, it's, it's, it's awesome. Um, and going to the number 91, just back in the day, um, when I was like four or five, um, John Tavares played in, in, uh, Oshawa and at the time we were bill billeting. Andy Andrew off of the, uh, in the Oshawa Generals. And uh, he was just the superstar of the league that uh, when I was watching. And, uh, you know, on first year I got to pick 91. That was the, the number I wanted to be after him and, and kind of stuck with it from there. We'll go next to Ken Weeb from Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. Afternoon, Cole. Uh, what role can your hockey intelligence play uh, in, this, in this process, whether it's at Moose Training Camp or during your time when you, you were around the Jets? Yeah, I think, um, you know, I think it could play a, a big role. Um, you know, I'm just basically what I'm trying to do is just be a sponge kind of, um, 
you know, soak it all in. This is something that, you know, in a normal year, I wouldn't be able to experience. And, uh, you know, most likely a lot of us would be, a lot of kids my age would be playing junior hockey. And, um, you know, the, the opportunity that I'm getting now to, you know, skate with the Jets, skate with the Moose, whoever it is, um, you know, it, it's something that is so beneficial for me in my hockey career and, and developing me as a player and as a person. Um, it, it's so good for me and, and I'm just trying to be a sponge. So take it all in and, and um, you know, kind of absorb everything, just learn. And, um, you know, there's a, a lot of stuff, you know, on and off the ice that I can learn from, from each and every one of these players. And, um, you know, if I can get, gather some, some knowledge, uh, um, some information every day, um, you know, that's, that's what I'm trying to do. That'll be a successful day. And, um, you know, today I learned a lot already and, you know, it was a great day and, and, uh, you know, I feel already comfortable with the guys. They, they welcome me pretty well. So, um, you know, it's awesome. Just a couple more. We'll go next to Paul Friesen from the Winnipeg Sun. Go ahead, Paul. Thanks, Gregor. Uh, Cole, have they given you any indication if and when they want to get you into an NHL game? No, no. Um, well, when Mr. Shovel Day called yesterday, he kind of just said, come stay with the team. And, and uh, you know, the timeline is kind of unknown. And, um, you know, just come out and, and work hard and, and, you know, see what you can do. And, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come here every day and just work as hard as I can and, um, you know, play to the best of my ability. Um, at the end of the day, if I get a game, if I don't get a game, just practicing with these guys, being around the rink, um, you know, it's, it's amazing for me. So I'm just soaking it in and, um, you know, I'm just thrilled to be here. And final question to Jeff Hamilton from the Free Press. Go ahead, Jeff. Hey, Cole, just going back to that transition to being a pro again, just uh, the off-ice stuff. I mean, when you look at how, how much more demanding do you think it's going to be off the ice than maybe years you're, you're used to, considering this is now your full-time job? Yeah, well, um, you know, they always say how important it is to take care of your body off the ice and, and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, when I came in, every single player was in the gym or in the training room getting treatment or working out or stretching, doing something in, to prepare their body to be the best that, they, that it can be in, in recovery um, for the following days, um, especially this year with the demanding schedule. Um, it, it's going to be extra important for, you know, everyone to um, take care of their bodies. And I think, you know, that's one, as soon as I walked in, I noticed that right away is, you know, they talk about it, but you don't really realize it when, until you see it, you know, firsthand. And, you know, I, I saw it firsthand that, you know, everyone is so dedicated to um, bettering themselves off the ice and making sure that they're um, giving them the best chance to be successful on the ice. And, um, you know, that's something that's a big learning thing that I that I learned today and and um, and going to use going forward, obviously, for the rest of my career.